Um, Matthew, the, the, these games are obviously a little bit preparing for round one, which you learned from two games in preparation for round one. Oh, look, we've got, we've got a, lot of, a lot of guys up and running. Um, you know, I thought uh, the things we've been working on pre-season um, shone through for us to an extent. You know, we've still got a bit of work to do, some of our ball movement, but, um, you know, I thought uh, our stoppage stuff was good. I um, thought some of our patterns and, and some of the stuff we did off the ball um, to, to try and defend our inside 50s and hold the ball in our forward half was working OK. So, um, you know, the guys certainly got a, a real good blow out of it and it's certainly a pretty intense style of format of footy. You know, they are, uh, they're up and about and, um, you know, probably the last 10 minutes of every quarter, the guys are, both teams are out on their knees sort of thing and it's a bit of ping pong footy up and down the grounds. But, um, you know, we got through it unscathed and uh, that was a good start for us. Hey, Brad, you look good again in both games. What's the year of the side this year? How significant will this recruiting be? Um, oh, it'll be significant that it's just another big-bodied guy we can throw on ball. Um, you know, we're not expecting Brad to be the dominant bowler, but we're expecting him to, to come on and uh, be able to play a role inside. But also, Brad's running capabilities means he can, he can get it outside too. So it's uh, just, as we've spoken about pre-season, just adds to our mix um, of having inside and outside guys. And, you know, tonight we're able to really rotate quite a few guys through that area. You're happy with the numbers you've got in the midfield now. Obviously, you've got both from Gray Hart and maybe as you start with Dolman veteran midfield, but the number of players you've got that actually run through there in a game now? Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. Um, look, they're, they're still a long way off being real experienced on ballers, and, you know, that's going to be a great part of where we're at as a footy club at the moment. We're uh, really developing and seeing some of that excitement come through, and then they've just got to play as much footy as they can with each other, and, you know, even though you bring in Ebert and McCarthy, um, they haven't played with our guys before, so it's trying to get that synergy going and, uh, and trying to build that over the next four weeks, and then also build it during the year. How much can he improve, obviously, as a high draft pick of West Coast? He played a lot of footy there without dominating. Has he got a big upside still? Oh, look, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think he didn't get much chance on ball. You know, West Coast had a pretty good on ball group and still have. Um, so that was probably a reason by that. So, yeah, we would give him opportunities there. But um, uh, we, well, I would think that he's going to be one of our better on ballers. But we're expecting all of them to, at times during the year, share the load. And uh, we're not looking for Brad to fix all our problems. We're looking to him fit in and do what he did today. He can find a bit of the ball and he can certainly run hard with it. What about Pingo? Uh, this first game, impressive over yeah, Chad uh, he continues to find the ball for us. You know, we just play him as a, as a forward and easing him into it. But um, you know, whenever he does get the ball, something happens. Um, you know, in the positive end for us. So uh, you know, we'll, we'll ease him along and uh, you know, manage his game time loads. But he's really, he really stepped it up the last month and probably sniffed the games around the corner. And um, yeah, we're happy with a couple of things he did. And he's learning all the time. He's into the coach's office all the time, trying to get better. So uh, you know, he's got a real good work ethic in that regard. And he's obviously got some talent also. I was running down behind the grandstands, Rich, when I went on to meet him at half time, so I missed it. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it'd be important for players if if they want to bring that in. Um, I'm not quite sure we need it, but if they want to bring it in, I think they have the players to have a, an opinion on it because you know at times, um, you know they're pretty close to the action. They can see it happens now. You're also going to get the players trying to put one over the umps and trying to get it the other way around. But um, yeah, I think it's important that if there is some kind of doubt, we, we put it up there. But um, you know, as we saw last night's game, and I haven't seen tonight's one, but you know, does it conclusively say this happened or this didn't happen? Um, you know, if it concludes if he says that, then it's probably a good thing. If it doesn't, then it's just uh, making the game longer than what it already is. Well, one of your blokes was really determined to make the point, but there was no way to get for it. If you say that players taking one under the umpire, if you limit it to say one or one quarter or two a game, that might work. Oh, I would think so, yeah. I, that, I think that the, the time between, if it is a goal or a score, by the time it comes back to the centre bounce, there's enough time to review it there. But if you can't make a statement in game one today, because he's far from finished at this level, like you get through all the touches, get a couple of nice goals. Oh, look, that's what we, the level we expect of Kane and, uh, you know, it just goes into not just the pre-season game. So I don't think we've ever queried if his career finished with us. Um, but, you know, he's, he's going to play an important role for us this year, along with 35, 40 other guys on our list. They're going to do exactly the same thing and, you know, we're going to find that out over the next four weeks. So it's more than just getting kicks and, uh, and playing well. There's other things that are involved with it, along with everyone else. Probably the first time he started the season, I think he's not going to be a regular. 
Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah, no, that's fair call. Cool. Yeah, and, uh, you know, we, everyone's got to be on notice about you know, the year we had. No one's really guaranteed games. You know, you can say you're kidding yourself, but that, that's the mindset we have to have, and that's the mindset that players have attacked their pre season with. Um, and hence, you know, why we've got so many out on the track at the moment, and, you know, uh, positions are tough to come by. Clearly, his attitude has been good. Yeah, it, it's been great, along with everyone. It's been great. What sort of role have you got in mind for him? Uh, just play through the midfield, wing, forward, you know, along with what most on ballers have to do nowadays. It was nice to get a couple of goals today too, and that full strength play. Yeah, look, we want all our midfielders to, to try and uh, get on the attack the scoreboard, and uh, you know, I thought in the first game we were for a little bit cleaner, a little bit uh, polished with our, our finishing off, that would have been better for us. But we're going to ask all our midfielders to try and attack the goal score as much as we can. How did you see Piercy down back? Yeah, I thought he went well. Uh, obviously, he's seen Arnfield turn, which I think he's had him in his back pocket the last five years, tagging him wherever he goes. So I thought he handled that no worries, gave us some run um, with his kick. Um, and it's, he's, what is it, fifth or sixth game into it. So he's still learning to caper down there, and um, he's going to be important for us there. But, you know, we certainly tossed up trying to throw him up to the wing, and I can see him playing a pretty important role up there during the year. Did you manage to get a glimpse of uh, Cruz and Super Bowl? Or what? No, I didn't. No, no. I think that might have been the one Rich was talking about. So I was running down the back to see the players at uh, half time of that match. So I missed it. So I thought we kept them scoreless till we walked in then. Oh, I think so. Yeah, I think it was just a cut and got strapped up, and um, <clears throat> he was out there a little bit late in the second half, but he got out there and now he's fine. So just overall, is that those two performances today? Do you get from the past month? Um, oh, I think so. I'd go back and look at the tape. But, you know, I, I was happy with the intensity and the competitiveness of the group. That, that, that's the number one thing, and we're going to make sure we bring that every time we run in the field with a poor jumper on. So oh, I was happy with that. Um, you know, I really delve into when I go back to watch the video to see how movement and stuff was. But um, yeah, overall, I was happy. And we've got a big task next week. We go over to Perth and play West Coast, who um, are certainly up and about and looking for to try and win a flag. So we've got a, a great challenge there next week. What's the mindset for that game? How many blokes do you intend to take in? Um, I, uh, I think we can take 24, I think it is, or maybe it's 26, I'm not quite sure. But uh, we, can, we can take a few with some subs over there, depending on the heat. But um, uh, we, you know, we'll balance up who came out of the game well, how much game time players got today. So uh, um, I think Matty Thomas from Renouf and, and Jasper Pittard and Ben Newton, those kind of guys are available to play next week. So um, yeah, we'll weigh up the game time of that and you know, who, who has going to best fit for us. You talk about sharing the load through the midfield. Uh, Amy Charlotte, we're really good in the second game. It's going to roll the second Same again, through the midfield. It might be boring, but, you know, he's, um, he started on the wing and then went on ball for us. Um, uh, I think I got interviewed before the game. You know, Hamish has played 31 games, I think it is, over four years. So uh, he just hasn't had the ability to play lots of footy. And that's all Hamish needs to do now. His body's right. Um, he's fit and strong, feeling confident in himself. He just needs to play. And uh, that might sound silly for a high round draft pick. When you don't play much footy, you, you lose your ability of what it's like to play in a game week in, week out. And uh, so we're really looking forward to Hamish. He's just slowly developing and getting better and better each week.